you know, Felix, other than this road right here, mm -hmm. I bet this landscape hadn't changed in, what, 10,000 years. Probably. What I want to know, I want to know why, where all this gravel come from. Oh. How this rock was all split up like this. There's no water here. You know? How did all these pieces of rock form? And I have an idea. Okay, rocks grinding against each other on the earth, in the earth's crust and stuff. But if it were like a volcano and an explosion, wouldn't there be big rocks out here too? Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm guessing. Or maybe it's like this everywhere, but back east we got more vegetation and we don't see it. I don't know. I got questions. I got questions when I leave this place. Oh. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Well, beautiful day in Quartzsite. Me and Felix, we're gonna go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Come on, go with us. Is he gonna go with us? Yeah, I bet Foxy's gonna go too. That's what it looks like. Daddy, your windows are spotted. No kidding. Bad, ain't it? Oh man, it's Foxy Lady. I gotta share room with her. Yep, you do, do tuck. It's getting kind of full back here. <laughs> hey, Felix. Hey, Bob. You. What are we doing today? Getting some, get in some kind of trouble, right? Yeah. You got your phone? Yep. Oh, let's squish you! I'm gonna squish you! <laughs> I got my new phone holder. Took it off. The, took it off the KLR, the motorcycle. Oh, cool! <laughs> Ram mount. All right, here we go. Here we are. Here we are leaving camp. We parked uh, very remote uh, back here on the LTVA, long-term visitor area. Very remote, very private, very quiet. You said you heard some coyotes? I hadn't heard many coyotes. Yeah, uh, about two nights ago. Oh, okay. Nights ago. And then John, John found a den, didn't he? That's what he said. That's what he said, yeah. John is one of our friends that's camping with us. Now, I hadn't went this way much. You say you've gone this way? Yeah. I'm going up at the uh, LTV South. Huh. Oh, the nudist camp. Oh, well, I don't know if I want to end up there. No, there's nothing to see there. Maybe when I was younger. No, not even when you was young. No? No. No. Okay. no. Nothing but Europeans in there. They have the, you know. I, I might have could have participated female, when I was younger. The females have the uh, uh, hourglass butt. And, uh, what, what, was, what was that? You gotta see it. Oh no, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Just so you found you found a way over on the four wheeler, huh? Yeah, yeah. So this is what the desert. People say, oh, the well, people think desert. Felix, I think people like from back east and stuff. They're thinking of like like Sahara, 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 Sahara desert with like sand and dunes. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot yeah. of life out. I I would venture to say that there is more life in this desert than there are in the woods of Georgia. Yeah. Acre yeah. acre for acre. Yeah. May not be the same kind, but I would venture a guess that there is as much or more yeah. life yeah. in this desert right here. 
Yeah. I saw a couple pictures. Uh, I saw some pictures on Arizona Chatter where there was snow up on the mountains here about five years ago. Uh oh. So. Wow. It does get cold here. And this is what a this is what a cactus looks like that is no more. No more. I was there for a minute, but I don't think it's alive. No. Everything has a beginning, middle, and an end. Best you can hope for is a good beginning, a long middle, and a quick end. Which yeah, is, yeah, quick end. A quick end. We passed a sign that said no more camping this way. Getting a whole lot more natural out here. The road's getting rougher. This element's pretty good, but it doesn't have a lot of ground clearance. I worry that I'm gonna scrape underneath, but it hasn't happened, it has not happened yet. Sawarho, Swar did I say that right? Sawarho? I have no idea. Does that's what the Sagao? Sawarho? I don't know. You, you know more Spanish than me. I don't even know that's a Spanish word. Huh. Sawarho? Sawarho. I think I said it right then. So, Sawarho. I think that's an Indian name. So you came back here in the four, on, your, on the uh, yeah. Craig's four-wheeler. Yeah. This thing going to make it? Yeah. Okay. Cause look, There's going to be some spots. Like these washes? But I think there's little extra rooms. To get around it? Yeah, I know there's another road. And it gets worse down that way, but there's more of the trails that go to the side. Yeah. You know? scrape a bit. Look how the birds make holes in these uh these old dying cactuses. Right there, Felix. Oh yeah. Make bird nests and stuff. I think they say that these uh, cactus have to be several hundred years old before they start growing the offshoots on them like that. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> it's, a, it's a secret. Oh, that's baby May May. You sound just like Mar you sound just like Martini. What you think, Tuck? Man, this place is beautiful. Don't get all emotional about it. Well, well just, just, just look at it. <laughs> okay, Tuck, well, I'll just look at it. How y'all like this new camera? My new Samsung S21 Ultra. I dropped and broke the screen on it a week after I had it. Who's got you, Martini? My Felix does. Foxy lady says, she's not your daddy. She's my daddy. He's my Felix, though. Baby Mamie likes to sit there. She's getting her, she's getting her drink of water. But, uh, riding through here, I saw a stand of some, some warhos together. Two on the right seem pretty healthy. One's on the left, not so much. But I remember being from Georgia, I didn't know what these things looked like close up. And we're right here beside the road, so we got a lot of dust on them. So if you're from back east, it's not a sight. You get to see a lot. These here, 
are, uh, well, they're not doing as well. Even this is beautiful in its own way. So look at all the places that critters can get in here and hide. You know, something's got to be pretty brave to chase them up here and get them with all these spikes. So there's some live places on it and some dead, that's, that's thriving, that's not. It's also kind of loose at the base. So you might not ever have seen a saguaro in bad shape. That one's pretty good. It's got a bird nest right there. Beginning, a middle, and an end. Vicious. But the animals out here have learned to survive and adapt to these things, the plants too. Well, the element's doing good. Well, we've been driving 12 and a half miles with CRVs. That, that look familiar to you? You've come through here before. Yeah, yeah. What's here? It's south. South? Yeah. Oh, let me ask you a question. This ain't the, the nudie part, is it? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. no. Well, too far away to tell if there's any naked folk around here. I don't want to see no naked well, folk. Well, it's part of the nudie. This is uh, where it says uh, clothing optional. But it's short. So it is the nudie? Yeah. Well, there's nothing to really see. I don't think they are. I hope not. Coming from a distance, everybody. If you got children, pull them away from the TV. We don't know what we're going to see here. Well, I hadn't seen no naked folks yet. You know, you know we've been looking. Oh, yeah? Seen, yeah, well, I've been looking. I ain't seen no neck oh, people. No, no. We must have missed it somehow or another. He's got the solar, don't he, on that Montana? Two rows. Look at that pretty pace arrow sitting over there. Ooh. You know, Felix, I see new rigs. See old rigs, truck campers, tents. You know what I think? I don't, I don't care what people drive. I don't care how people get here. I just think, you know what? They made it. Yeah, yeah. They're here. They're here. As long as people are kind and good to one another, good to people, I don't care what they got here in. They made it. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. People shouldn't make fun of other people's rigs. That's, that's not nice. I'm sure at Tucker. My first rig, people made fun of me, hurt my feelings. I overheard them talking about it. Took a little time, got something a little bit nicer. Y'all don't, don't be making fun of each other's rigs and stuff. People doing the best they can do. Yep, this is the south for sure. Here's the water fill up and there's the sewer dump and trash right here. So if y'all are in La Posa South, if you head straight, now you know you can end up La Posa North. I wouldn't take anything big. I wouldn't take anything that wasn't four wheel drive or all wheel drive. Busy day. Imagine, imagine all the people 
Living for today ha, 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 ha. You can say I'm a dreamer But I'm not the only one Well Put on 33.3 miles Back at camp I'm gonna show him Felix this uh this big old peace symbol we have right here. Oh yeah. Well, that was exciting. Back at camp. That's where I took, just took John to the, uh, met him, just took John to the uh, La Paz Medical Center up here. And, uh, got him up there to an ambulance. And they got him to Parker. He was hurting pretty bad. So, guys as soon as I hear something I'll let you know something but John is my camping buddy I've camped with him for several years I'm thinking it may be kidney stones but uh, he's headed to Parker Hospital and hopefully he'll be all right all right well I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today kind of a strange day just real life stuff uh, you send a prayer too for my buddy John be much appreciated I think he's probably gonna be all right but I'm going to end this little video where, right here, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. It just goes to show it's safer camping with other people. Camping with friends just because of situations just like this. John was hurting so bad he couldn't drive. And here we are very, very remote. But the ambulance driver told me that they knew all this area out here that I should have sat still. So just, just passing on the information. Gotta go. See you next time. Bye.